Well, my name is Michael Lix, linebacker for the Calgary Stampeders. Uh, this is season number 10 for me, and I'm currently at the 100th Great Cup. <laughs> currently, our playbook is completely available on the tablet. So we just go into a soft, uh, software called Dragonfly. We log in our, our name, our username, and our password that have been provided by the team. And we get instantaneously the playbook for every week. And that's pretty amazing. And regardless of where you are, regardless, you're always up to date with everybody else. Instead of displacing ourselves from going to one location to another, we can do it at home. So it saves the coaches a lot of time. So usually the amount of detail that's being developed, thanks to the tablet, it helps in huge, I mean, in huge troops and bounds for the detail, position specifics, uh, uh, team concepts. So the venue of the tablet was a huge deal. Until my professional, when I started playing professional, that's when I started hearing about compression, stabilizing garments, uh, and all that good stuff. So the technology there has exploded in huge leaps and bounds. All that technology, they're, they're increasing their their, their, their research in that, in that facet because recovery and, and playing garments are a huge asset to play. Like, let's look at me. Maybe, I don't say it added years to my career, but I say it like it helped me a lot. Especially days when I'm really, really sore and I'm like getting up in the morning, it's like, oh my goodness. Ideas about what might be well, the next what, big innovation? Well, the big innovation would be since, you know, most of our stuff is mainly visual, especially for learning. But especially in training, when you train, well, the training protocol has changed some because when you train, you can video yourself also. So, because of that, what's happening in today's training capacity, instead of just having the typical muscle-bound workouts that you've been provided, well, you have specifics. You have um, in biomechanics, I'm talking about by leaps and bounds. Now, because of the venue of video and tablets, people train having a direct feedback on their biomechanics. And with the venue of tablets and you know, seeing a video on your phone, you get a sense of when you work out. You can get, especially with a trainer that's specializing in that, like uh, you specialize in biomechanics. And that biomechanics telling you where you're not efficient. Well, this movement is making you not as fast as if you were doing it properly. Look at five years ago, where we, like at five years ago, and look at where we are now. And this is where you can see this big transition, like bigger guys running faster, whereas you had to have smaller guys to run fast. But the philosophy has changed. They had bigger guys running faster because maybe because of their training protocol has been a little bit more in depth and very more detailed. So that's why I look at it. You see the guys, the size of the guys, and the speed that they're going compared from today to five years ago. You know, being an older athlete, and I try to keep up to pace with the younger guys, so I try everything that I can to, you know, those garments, well, I have a pair of those, and I'm wearing them every time, every chance I get. So every little advantage, you know, if even nutrition, you know, like, Every advantage that you can get, I, I'll try to use. I'll, first of all, I'll do my research. There's no sense of using something knowing that, well, I might take 20 years off of your life. It makes no sense. But if I see something that will benefit me, you know, on the football field and also on the long term, I'll definitely take it. What's your favorite app? In general. My favorite app? Yeah. Cool. Goodness <laughs> gracious. What's your favorite? It doesn't have to be related to football, but what's your favorite app? Well, the one that I'm constantly using all the time, that I'm using also as a communication platform, is Facebook. <laughs> Obviously, like everybody else. Is it for your fans, or is it for your friends, or is it both? Both, for a little bit of both. Because in Facebook, since you have direct, direct message, it really helps you see, like, okay, I need to get in touch with this person, send them a message directly. You know, and the fact of the matter is, everybody is on Facebook, and everybody uses Facebook. Like, that's why like a lot of people like, don't even use their phone number. I just go to their Facebook profile, send them a message. I get a quicker response of even them trying to call them or texting them. Yeah. So, because people are constantly like, wait a second, what's going on on my Facebook? Okay, okay, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> so, it's all about details. And football, 
especially professional football, being being the factors of winning and losing are so small that with every little inch of advantage that you can get has so much more important. Uh, and that's why like the venue of the tablet you know, has been by like, leaps and bounds like, Huge progress. The training for a huge progress in itself. And teams that take advantage of those will tend to be more successful. Of course, it all depends on the players and the coaching staff, but those little technological advances and, and the teams that are using them tend to have you know, better athletes and better football teams.